then moving left. Goes to the body again. And Lopez. Yeah, you see that power and you. Okay, right, trunks here are good. Look, anything below the navel is a foul. Trunks here are good. Anything below this point is a foul. Anything below the belly button. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. Boxing snap read. That's what he's doing. Just... There it is. The jab again from Lopez. Or to be able to gauge his range. You're right. You're able to find the angle with your jab a lot easier than moving left. Goes to the body again. And Lopez. Yeah, you see that power and you see Lo with Lopez, he's isolating. The he's so angular. All the movement. Ooh. It can be exhausting. But in the final 15 seconds. It's just a slip and a straight left. Right down the pipe from Lomachenko. He tried to shoot another one. He just missed that one, but just timed him. He didn't throw a punch for a round and a half so he could land. And then you get set, they audible again. It's very, very exhausting. And you have to find a way to be disruptive. You have to. Levels dropping his head down low, trying to see if he can get a re. Mm. Shoulders crossed. He is going to fire. There he is with Lomachenko against the ropes for a moment and a combination of. Took the first mm. Lomachenko. Over Lopez's jab. Lopez. Mm. He's there, you gotta step in and get ripped down to that body with that right hand to the body. But he has been really witchy. That is a big part of his success. We talked about the timing mm. of Lopez, but he didn't. Lomachenko keeping those hands up high. What do you do? Dig around the sides. Why not? He's giving it to you. You know, he needs to continue to, to invest in the body to slow down Lomachenko. You know, in the later rounds, Lomachenko will begin to fade. You need to zap some of that energy now. For now, you're gonna learn traditional. You didn't box. Why? Because Papachenko wanted him to have the... Another body shot. With the movements and all the different things. That doesn't look like it's working right now, but it's still a lot of fight left. Has he moved on the angle yet? He hasn't even moved on the angle no. yet. And that is what he is known for. Being an angular, offensive, aggressive. Few and far in between, but every now and again, he'll get something in like that and sort of let Lopez know, don't get too reckless, but just not enough from Loma at the moment. This is where Lopez wants to live. He doesn't have to stand. Standing 36% of the power punches against Lomachenko. And he comes in with a angle mark to the right to try to get out. We knew he would be a slow starter. There's a little bit of an angle. And the level and tripled up. Range finding by Lomo. Now he's trying to get to the inside. There's a right hand from Tiafimo. Counter punch by Lopez. Let me see if he can pick it up. Nope, there, uppercut. And a right hand by Tiafimo. That's what you want to land. He's a smaller man. He's coming inside anytime Lomachenko steps. To disagree with anything there because Lomachenko round, but all the other there rounds go. seem to be to everything going on here as he fired. You want to tire out the young. And got around the guard there. There's a right hand. Now is throwing his punches where he thinks Lomachenko's going to be. He's moving around to the left. Don't you think that's a big part of what it takes against the moving target that we typically see of Lomachenko? Rhythm of Lomachenko. He's already figured it out. Lomachenko now trying to close as he comes forward against the young. Just missing. Here we see Loma trying to get his offense going. Just a straight left to the body and a swivel right jab to the head. Gonna have to close that distance. He's, he's closing it right now. He's gonna have to close that distance. He's behind and he knows he only has so many rounds. He steps with him. Right hand. Oh, and there's a left hand from Lomachenko. And now he comes into the pocket and they're exchanging. Lomachenko's best there offensive surge of the night. It comes there at the halfway point of round eight to Tiafimo. He's got to close the distance. Tiafimo willing to trade. Mm. He comes in like that. Don't allow for it. Push him back. Oh, left hand. Oh, there's a good jab and a combination from Lomachenko. And Lopez comes right back. Status. Tonight we're going to see what Lope Loma's going to test him. This is a boxing. This is about the boxing of boxing. One area. Stop. Oh. Trying to work his way in with the jab and a good offensive. Guy who is not used to, to losing and 
He then becomes the fastest mm. ever to be. Gotta close it. Yeah, and close the show. Left hand right to the midsection. Right hand to the body from mm. Tiafimo. Both guys trading. Both guys willing to get there. Loma you see Loma coming with that right jab. That's what he needs to do. Okay. Okay. To keep Lopez off of him. Lopez okay. just missed that uppercut. But then you see Loma coming for it with his signature punches, leading with that left, coming back with the swivel right. Here we see the jab again. And Lopez is trying to block those shots, but they're coming fast and they're coming at, at awkward angles. The experience of Lomachenko is now starting to pay good dividends. He's been here before. Lopez don't know. Look at these exchanges here in round number 11. You think they want exhausted right now. Loma stepping on that gas, and you can see he's letting He said, I want to take him to the deep water where he hasn't been. I want to drown him there. Deep inch of rounds where the veteran dug into him immediately. Closing that gap, a short left hand, and overhand right as well. And that, listen to me, you can rest tomorrow. Lopez needs to bite down right now. Lopez. Right hand. Oh, There's nice a body shot. shot, left hand. Take more risk. He's getting hit, but he's willing to get hit. Well, Lopez is a little That's bit fair. tired. That's fair. Remember we talked about how ex every moment the hyper focus and but the body shots still yes. have a thought. Some Loma have been sheer will. And you just see him pressing the issue, doing what he has to do to land shots like that. Last round, gentlemen. He's Clean in the round. line of fire right now. He's in the danger zone. But he's still letting his shots go. He's getting there first. He's starting the combinations, okay. and he's ending the combinations. And Lopez is landing combinations, or excuse me, shots, but they're far and few in between. According to CompU, half has been Vasily Lomachenko. This will be moments like this yes, as a young do. kid coming out. The roar to start a 12th round. But it's just them, and it's just 100 people here in a COVID-protected bubble. It's Teofimo Lopez's father said, look, this is Andre and Tim Woods reason to believe that we mm, just nice saw Andre's car. good right oh in, in this 12th round could sway things this will be the decider we could be Whoa. sitting on a swings it just landed again by Lopez and he digs down with a left hand comes up top of the left hook body language it can be everything in this speed skill let's see if he can close this right hand tried to time it Oh, left hand comes in. Oh. oh, and Lopez with success here. Punch of the back half of the fight right there. He oh, he's got him hurt. Look at this. Teofimo Lopez. There is no chance to take it home. Power surge by Teofimo Lopez in the 12th round of a very, very close fight that will head to the scorecards to decide it. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside MGM Grand, after 12 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Tim Cheatham scores the bout 116-112. Julie Letterman scores the belt 119-109. Steve Weisfeld scores the bout 117-111. For your winner by unanimous decision, and now the undisputed lightweight champion of the world.